Our live team coverage continues now with Kelsey Kushner on your corner in Annapolis. Hey, and Kelsey, you're at the city dock, another flood prone area, and today was no different down there. Rick, Vic, well, you know, we're used to seeing a lot of flooding happening here at Annapolis City Dock when there is a big storm, but it's nothing quite like this. Now, I'm going to walk, you're going to walk with me, but we're going to watch out where we're going because there's a lot of floating things in the water down here, which makes it very dangerous for drivers, for walkers. So, a lot of these low lying businesses right here, they have sandbags out front. We're not really sure how they're doing on the inside, and I say that only because there is one business that looks like they're pumping out water right now. Um, officials, they've tried blocking off this road, but that water just keeps moving in over here. Um, you, you really can't tell where the sidewalk starts, where the road ends, and where the water is, which makes it very dangerous for people when they're walking out through um, the Annapolis City Dock area right now. A lot of people that we spoke with said that the water derailed their plans tonight. Some people are camping out here in Annapolis because they can't even make it home over the Bay Bridge. Heavy rain and whipping winds rip through the heart of Annapolis. Water is just like way up past the seawall, um, almost into the road. The roads are closed. Tuesday's storm brought torrential rain, flooding city dock and forcing road closures. Kind of alarming to see. I didn't, didn't realize <laughs> how crazy it gets. <laughs> roads turned into rivers. Some people swapped out their cars for kayaks. Others trekked through it. Throughout the day, the water slowly creeped in. Both city and county leaders tried to get ahead of the flooding with a flood barrier. Tonight, we're going to experience a, a, a tide level of, of around 4.9 to 5.0 feet, which, uh, if we see that, will end up being the third or fourth highest tide on record. At the Bay Bridge, temporary closures derailed plans for people trying to get home, leaving commuters stuck for more than three hours. Got to get over the Bay Bridge. Really want to go home, and doesn't seem possible. Now, another live look here at what uh, downtown Annapolis looks like right now. And it truly is, you know, quite amazing to see the water out here. We've got a tow truck on standby. We've seen a lot of things floating in this water. Where I'm standing, it's about a little bit past my shin, and I don't really want to go much deeper because I don't know what's in this water. And of course, now all the attention is going to turn to overnight because high tide is supposed to come in at around 3 a.m., which could make a lot more water push its way, you know, through the downtown area and might just, you know, make that a really messy commute for people who are trying to get through here to maybe go to work, school, whatever, tomorrow morning. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC. Kelsey, thank you for getting in the water. Now, time to get out of there, most <laughs> definitely.